The safety net that's often overlooked, disability insurance, but it can really help replace a portion of your income when you can't work because of an illness or an injury. WAFF 48's Sean Dowling sat down with a financial expert from the Welch Group to talk about the importance of having disability insurance. When it comes to your wealth, you've also got to be thinking about your health. I'm here with Marshall Clay from the Welch Group to talk all about disability insurance. Now, Marshall, what are the most important things people need to know? Disability insurance is all about the risk of you know, injuries or things like that, yeah. that that can prevent you from doing the job that you're otherwise accustomed to doing. And I think that, you know, we, we we really gloss over the disability policies more so than life insurance policies and actually it's, it's a higher probability that you're going to have some, tor some sort of disability as opposed to a premature death. Most pe people don't think about that um, but the probability is higher of some sort of disability. So in terms of the, the, the types of disability policies you really have two main types. You have the short term disability mm -hmm. and longer term. Short term is going to cover you in the event that you're injured maybe for maybe you know a, a couple of months to maybe upwards to a year. Okay. The longer term disability is involving a you know, more serious accident that really prevents you from working for a long period of time. And I think that typically employers you know, oftentimes provide some type of built-in uh, disability policies as an, as an employee benefit. Uh, a lot of uh, companies will offer, uh, it's employer offer, but the employee actually pays it. And then obviously a third option is maybe you go out and, and purchase some, some type of uh, private policy on your own. And, and then it's further broken down into what's called own occupation policies and any occupation policy. So mm -hmm. an own occupation policy is going to cover you if you can't perform the specific job that you were working in before you were disabled so as you might imagine that one's going to be a little bit more expensive because it's a higher probability that the insurance company is going to have to cover you like in the event that you got damaged um, in, in an accident or you, and you couldn't speak and you put, couldn't perform your job as a, as, a, as a news personality they would cover you in that regard and then then the any occupation uh, policy is going to cover you if, if you're injured in a way where you can't perform any job the employer options if, you, if you're offered those those are taxable. So if you happen to get injured and you receive that benefit, the government's going to tax you on that benefit. Okay. As opposed to that, if it's employee paid or private insurance, you will not pay taxes on those benefits. So, you know, a little bit of a, a, a nuance there. And then typically these policies will only last until you're age 65, 67 in some cases. I've seen some that last up till 70, but it's important to understand how long those benefits are going mm -hmm. to last to understand the, the true value that you're getting from these disability policies. Marshall Clay from the Welch Group, appreciate your time. You're welcome.